this is my home. It's scavenger. And I just think scavenger fits in better because he fits in our family portrait next to my sister Easter egg and my other brother Doug. It's worse for me. This joke is so funny when you pay attention. It's like one of the funniest jokes in the world. But I'll keep going until we're moving to a frenzy, so no pressure, guys. This is going well so far. <laughs> Allison? Is Allison here? Allison's coming, did you know that? She don't even know that. Sweet! Uh, she, was like, she was at Rax last night. She was at Rax last night. That's right. Life changing. Because I watched it when I was yeah. nine. You did. Uh, yeah. That's a lie. <laughs> Make that Nobody show. watched it. Liar. Um, so yeah, that's my name, Paul. You're yourself Paul. Are you from Maine? And I would answer you, yes, I am from Maine. And then you would ask me, probably, if I didn't have to do this myself, you would say, hey, how come I've never seen you at Walmart? And that's a really, really good question. Um, I'm intimidated at Walmart because I have a lot of really deep thoughts about, like, first off, do you have to be retarded to be a greeter? Is that a rule? Like, like does something have to be wrong before they hire you? And, and if that's so, fuck you, Walmart. And then also, how does that interview go? Is anyone else a little curious? Just trying to, some douchebag manager named Bradley. Yeah, I mean, probably his name is Bradley because way too cool to call himself Brad. And he's sitting there with a big pamphlet. He's like, well, oh, hey, welcome to the Walmart Peer Interview. Wow, synergy. A uh, couple simple questions. Two questions, actually. Uh, first one's an experience question. You ever said hi to anyone? <laughs> No, okay, because you didn't, you didn't on the way in. Oh, I was checking, I was checking. That's fine, we train, we train, okay. All right, teamwork, let's see. Question two, uh, are you retarded? Oh, then welcome to Walmart. Yeah, here's your stickers, go nuts. Oh, just remember that last thing I said? Oh. <laughs> Say it over and over, and that's like the weirdest, most awful, cruel interview that I imagine every single time that Walmart's conducting. I was like, fuck you, Walmart. Because I don't think that they're special. I don't think that they're mentally handicapped employees at all. I think that they are just normal Walmart employees who were hit in the head by a falling price. <laughs> I mean, they're falling somewhere, right? I mean, someone's getting injured. I mean, not really, ultimately, right? And you're thinking, like, wow, is that Gerald from Electronics? Well, he used to be. Fucking <laughs> smiley face and a number nine changed her life. It's always a nine because they're, they're rolling back. I'm gonna have a little explain it later for you. Um, you ever accidentally let a Jehovah's Witness in your house? Like, like uh, that's a, that's a moment of clarity, isn't it? Like, it's funny for me because as I'm sitting there, like deciding whether or not they drink coffee and should I offer it to them, I'm, I'm, I'm interrupted with this piece of information called the Watchtower. I get the Watchtower, and I'm just follow along. This is what it's called. Uh, so like, let's say this little pink, like dubstep pamphlet is the uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Red Mix Cypher. Oh my god. Okay, so imagine like this is the watchtower and I look at this and I go, wow, that's ironic because had I had an actual watchtower, I would have known you were coming. <laughs> I think it's mean. It's, it's hard for me to make fun of them because that's got to be hard to sell religion door to door, right? The, one of the hardest things I can think of doing. And if I was going to sell religion door to door, I would automatically just kind of amp it up and just sell some merchandise too, just in case. You know? And what would you sell? Like, Jehoovers, maybe? Like, <laughs> you have to have a model number. Like, this is the Jehoover Genesis 423. And people would ask questions. I'd ask questions. I'd be skeptical. I'd be like, hey, so. Dude, do I have to buy like special bags for this thing? Like, what's the catch? And he's like, no, 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 sir. This, this vacuum here, the Genesis 423, it sucks <laughs> all the dirt straight to hell. Gone. So don't worry about that. <laughs> but that marketing could go awry for, without even trying, right? That could go wrong right off the bat. Like, the Genesis 423, because no one sucks more than the Lord. Like, oh, wow. <laughs> I mean, it's like good for the vacuum as a promo, but bad. <laughs> that was pretty good. Thanks. Thanks for the comprehension. Come up with more Jehovah jokes. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, it's 
first person heckling me with this video right now. He's like, this is what it looks like to be a heckler on YouTube. You want to go on YouTube? <laughs> okay, we're going to move on. No, I have not any more Jehovah's jokes. Um, but I do, on a serious note, now that we've made it serious, I want to uh, let everyone know I was inspired recently by a friend of mine who enlisted. Um, so I've decided that uh, as of this August, I'm enlisting in the war <laughs> on drugs. <laughs> and I've decided to enlist on the drug side. <laughs> so from, from what I hear, they're already winning, and you don't join. You don't join the losing team of anything. You can avoid it, really. You know, I play baseball. I know. And I'm thinking to myself, like, well, Paul, there's a good chance you'll lose this war. It's a lot of Republicans. What are you gonna do? And then I think to myself, you know what? It's a win-win, no matter what, because like, a we win. That's a win. That counts as one. And then the other win would be like, we lose, and we're way too high to remember that anyway. So, <laughs> two wins, that's win-win, as far as I'm concerned. Sitting on the couch the other night, finding a good fight, and I thought to myself, <laughs> is it weird that uh, kids, kids are still trusted by parents to hang out with Mickey Mouse unattended? You wouldn't think that, Paul, that's, well, that's a little too existential. Uh, what are you doing with your weed trips? And that's not true, because I realized, thanks to Wikipedia, <coughs> Mickey Mouse is over 80 years old. How many other 80-year-olds do you just let your kids trot off to without checking a website first? You know, like, that doesn't make any sense. And if that's really going on, hypothetically, <laughs> in the Disney Village, how awkward is that for the other characters? Like, they gotta pretend on every phone call with Mickey that they don't know. You know, Mickey calls them up about the barbecue. Oh, hey, Donald, how's it going? Oh, uh, I just, just wanted to make sure you're going to the barbecue. Uh, uh, and, that, and also that you're bringing your nephews. Gary, <laughs> Gary, yeah, oh, great, oh, uh, cool, oh, uh, one more thing. Uh, they're still not wearing pants, right? No. <laughs> 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 from Sesame Street that you never saw that were hilarious. Hey, James. How's it going? Spazucks is here. Woo! <laughs> Couldn't see you there. Uh, okay, so imagine <laughs> Kermit the Frog having a freaky outtake and how awesome that would be to relive now as an adult. It would be like nostalgia plus YouTube equals awesome. Kermit the Frog here. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I do right at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Like it's like the dueling banjos, the Kermit the Frog impression. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come in, uh, you go. Uh, uh, never mind. Here's my impression of Kermit the Frog YouTube outtake. <laughs> hey, I'm here, B. Why you, C? Talk about D is D is for what the fuck, Jim? <laughs> Jim, B, 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 why? Why, why do we have a fucking contextual out here? Why are you talking about it? Is that a goddamn a dog? For D, Jim? Really? Really? Really, Jim? Hey, hey. Hey, look, look at my fucking eyes when I'm talking to you, Jim. Why? This is my, my artistic integrity is on the line. Your, your face isn't on the fucking, on the fucking surf of the street, Jim. Why? I woke up, I woke up like a goddamn pig this morning, Jim. Okay, give me, give me a fucking break. And give me a fucking water, eh? I think Disney went wrong when they made straight to video sequels. You know what I'm saying? Talking about like everyone saw the Lion King, no one saw Lion King 33 and 3rd Puma Timon Clacky Fuck on Sub Story. Mostly because JTT wasn't singing. Also, because it was in the fucking free section of Blockbuster. And you don't, you don't rent anything from the free section on purpose unless you have kids. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's something to avoid. Why did those make the theater? I would have marketed them differently if they went straight to video. I would have made, like, adult themed, but no, no, no. And I don't mean, like, Mickey <laughs> mini sex tape. Oh, what the hell? Yeah, well, here we go, whatever. And, uh, what the I, hell? I, I don't mean, actually, I don't mean Mickey just taking mini. 
They exist. Yeah, over over chair. It's a little anime for you. Ready? I don't mean, I don't mean, uh, I don't mean Mickey just like take it. This is not what I mean by that. I don't mean like Mickey just be like, oh, I don't like that. I don't like that you're dirty with the sword. I just like it from behind. Oh, 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 oh. Look at me when I fuck you, you little sword rat. You look at me. Now you guys are sick. That is disgusting. I mean more like an action genre. Like if every adult sequel was Awesome action movie with the subtitle The Reckoning. How, how awesome would Bambi 2 be? That's that. <laughs> Bambi 2. <laughs> the Reckoning. <laughs> Bambi's back and he's pissed about his mom. <laughs> Whoa! I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> or or, or like, like, like a live action movie. like Chitty Chitty Bang Bang 2. <laughs> Geographically only popular. 